In this video, we'll go over a little more advanced work. We're going to start with a simple revolve cut and then learn how to feature it. If you look over here at this guide rod, it's a threaded rod. Now, a normal thread, if you've ever looked at a screw, it's got a sort of helix cut all around it. This is a way of making cosmetic threads. It's just making a single ring cut and then making a pattern all along the length of this shaft. So we're going to do that and see if you really don't need a mechanical mate like a real thread, this can be a great way just to depict something in a drawing or a picture. So to make this guide rod, we're going to start with a simple quarter inch cylinder. So our circle's not centered there, so let's go ahead and put that so it's all all black. This nine and a half inches. I'll just mention this while we're at it. This is a break view. This, if the scale was kept all at the same size, and uh, yeah, if the scale was kept all at the same size, this would go off the page. So in order to fit it onto the drawing, this is broken out, showing these two pieces kind of fit together. But the total length is nine and a half inches. So that's what we're going to do. Now here, we're going to look at one face. And we're going to start on this plane and make a sketch. Let's get our dimensioning. A thread has a major and a minor diameter, especially on a bolt. For a bolt, the major diameter is the outside tips of the threads across. The minor diameter is the diameter of the troughs on the inside. So for a quarter inch 20 bolt, there are 20 threads per inch. The major diameter is quarter inch, 0.25, and the minor diameter is a little smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and make a reference line along the center and this is already there that's already 25 inches so that's good but this piece needs to be 0.11887 divided by 2 inches there it is and this needs to be it needs to be big enough so that 20 of these will fit in an inch so you can say 1 divided by 20, 0 0.05 inches. There we go. You really want to make sure this is go. Just find the midpoint. You'll see when that little square goes, uh, the circle with the two lines on it. That's the midpoint. And everything's all constrained properly. I'm going to move this up because this doesn't look right. There we go. Make this coincident. Uh huh, that's better. Now we're going to do our revolved cut. Just like. Now we have our cut profile. All right, now let's make our pattern. We're gonna to need to insert some reference geometry. So here it is in the features tab. I know I've mentioned it before, but we're gonna put in an axis made out of the front plane and the top plane. Now if you hit shift and select all these, it's gonna select all of them and do something weird. So don't do that. When you go to make your axis, select the right plane, hold control, and there it is. That's where it wants to put the axis. That's fine. There it is. In order to get this proper, I'm going to trim off a couple of these. There we go. Make this a construction line. 
and start from here. I'm going to make the same tooth profile. There we go. This is what I wanted. So we've got this weird hourglass. This will show me more of the linear pattern. We're going to select our axis. We're going to select our features. I'm going to make that again 20 per thread. Shift that around. Now direction 2. There we go. So this will finish off the cut. I made one more copy in the opposite direction. Whereas for this one, we've got a long ways to go. Let's see if we try and do up to reference. You're going to select this face, previews here, and we should have all of our threading there. And then the second direction sends it up that way. So let's see how this looks. Oh, parallel. It's going to point at you. But there it is. There we go. That looks like threaded rod. Looks like nice threads all around. These are just cosmetic threads. You know, you can't screw a nut on this because these don't go anywhere. But if you just need a picture of them, they look great. Go ahead and save this as your guide rod. And there we go. That's how to make cosmetic threads. That's how to revolve a cut. You can also make this by extruding the inner diameter cylinder and making just a revolved or extrude of a single tooth to pattern that. Either way, there's several ways to do this.